Well, he was a pillar of both finance and philanthropy in Western New York until he died last December. And now the will of the late M&T Bank CEO Robert Wilmers has been made public. Dave McKinley inspected the will and reports on its contents in this Two on Your Side original. Financing the capital. Because he was such a central figure here in his 35 years leading M&T Bank and his affinity for Buffalo, many presumed Robert Wilmers lived in Western New York. But he didn't. During all those years, he commuted. Wilmers lived in New York City in a co-op overlooking Central Park on the upper floor of this building where he died last December. According to a probate petition filed in Manhattan Surrogate Court, this banker, who often bicycled when he wasn't driving a beat-up old Toyota Corolla, left an estate of approximately $750 million. It included a palatial country home in Stockbridge, Massachusetts, a chalet in the high society village of Gestadt, Switzerland, an apartment in one of the most exclusive sections of Paris, and this chateau and winery in the Bordeaux region of France, and of course, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of M&T stock. According to a will made out just a little over two years before he passed, Wilmers left the vast majority of his wealth to his family. He even left a half million dollars to his first wife, whom he separated from more than two decades ago, with a request and hope that this legacy be used to help defray her medical expenses. But the will also leaves the residual remainder of his estate, in amount still to be determined, to two private charitable trusts, the Interlaken Foundation and the Roach Foundation, both of which Wilmers solely funded. A review of IRS forms shows that just in the last five years combined, they awarded $16.4 million in grants, about one-third of which, or nearly $5.6 million, came to Western New York to educational institutions like UB, Canisius College, and Westminster Charter School, a favorite of his, which got $1.7 million in that time, to cultural institutions, primarily the Albright Knox Art Gallery and the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra. Funding went to a variety of health care agencies like Children's Hospital, Roswell Park, and Western New York Hospice, causes like Push Buffalo, which fosters affordable housing, Journeys and Refugee Services, and Upon This Rock, an arm of the Buffalo Diocese funding Catholic charities and Catholic education. The most recent tax forms available show that before Wilmers died, the foundations together still had balances of nearly $75 million, and that is without whatever may be added through the disposition of Wilmers estate. And that's where his legacy may live on here beyond taking a Buffalo-based institution from a $2 billion banking operation into a $120 billion financial powerhouse. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.